it absolutely feels amazing. Like it's it's just being back on the field. Um, obviously, is my happy place along with all my players, uh, and you really get that feeling that that life is getting back to normal when we're out there. It's it's also really quite funny. I find there are so many things going on that in a normal year I would be so agitated and driving me absolutely crazy, and. I'm just rolling with it because we're just so happy to be out there. We'll, we'll take what's ever thrown at us. Just the fact that, you know, the OUA and Canada's playing uh, sports again, um, it's, it's, it's just amazing and, and we're happy for that. Wow. Uh, it, yeah, long time coming. Uh, very proud of, obviously, my staff. Very proud of our whole, our integrated support team, the athletics department, the university. Um, we attacked this really aggressively when, when COVID hit. Um, you know, when, when the shutdown started, we continued with team meetings. We continued with individual meetings. We continued with film work. Um, we continued with, with online lifting programs. Uh, university did a great job of coming up with a, a mini budget to be able to send out our student athletes. Um, many home gyms that we're able to send all our athletes that they could utilize you know resistance bands and med balls and some amazing stuff so you know i find we were really really ahead of the curve um and in ontario we were the first school out we moved our whole uh, high performance training center outdoors and uh, we were the first school to be outdoors and we had our guys lifting so it kind of you know did have that sense of normalcy um, and even when the second lockdown came, we just kept storming. You know, there was no, you know, this is boring. Uh, you know, it was always about more football, more content, more content. What can we do for these kids? And again, I can't say enough for my coaches. My coaches did a fantastic job of creating contact for, content for our players. Um, and I, I think it paid off. Because when we were finally at the point where we were allowed back on the field, like we went from zero to 100 in the blink of an eye. Um, so we're, you know, it was a busy 18 months. It was uh, horrible being at home. Um, that's not a, that's not saying anything about my family. I'm just saying it's hard to coach a football team from your home. So very proud of what the university, the department, and my staff did for, for these kids. Team has looked great. Team has looked great. I've, it's the best football team I've seen since I've been here. And, and you know, we've had some great recruits in the past. Um, you know, I think this team speaks a lot to our depth. Uh, coaches have done a great job of recruiting, um, and we've filled in a lot of those voids that we used to have in terms of our depth. Um, our depth is, is, is solid. Team speed, this is the fastest team I've ever seen, both on offense and defense. We are running around all over the place. Um, we're veteran on both sides of the football uh, with some key high-end five-star recruits that are that are pushing to compete. So we're in a really good place. Okay. Offense looks great. Uh, you know, you, you know, very difficult to be hired as a football coach during COVID. Um, you know, 18 months before he saw his office. Um, you know, five months before he met any of his, any of his team in person. Um, so that was really different. But you know what? He has a, a true and tried system, a system that he strongly believes in, a system that he's implemented here. Um, and, and we look absolutely dynamic. It's nice to see, you know, with the athletes we have, them running around and being successful. It's, it's been a long time coming. Offensively, we, we, got some, uh, we got some kids. We got some kids. Obviously, you know, I, I think we need, to, we need to speak to the senior statesman, uh, Alex Daly, uh, fifth-year kid. Um, you know, a kid I strongly believe should be in the CFL. Um, you know, coming off a 2018 OUA All-Star, uh, 2019 was a little bit, bit of a disappointment, not his fault. Uh, but, you know, I, th I think Alex, Alex is going to lead the way from our offense. Obviously, we're loaded with weapons. Um, our tailback, Darnell Jarrett, is an explosive young man from Vanier College. Um, Alex's brother, Retson Daly, who, as far as I'm concerned, is a Division One athlete. Like, he is just the talent just oozes, oozes out of this kid. Um, and I'm excited to see what he's gonna do in the OUA. Uh, Jackson Hume, our, our two sport athlete, um, brings energy and lightning speed to this football game. You know, a team Alberta standout, um, you know, this, this provincial team 
kid um, was an impact as a freshman, and now he's just a, a standout as a, as a second-year player. Um, you know, offensive line, we're, we've recruited some size. We're going to be big. They're a young group, but they've gelled pretty quickly. Um, you know, they'll probably, not probably, they will be anchored uh, by two returning starters on the offensive line at both tackles in Evan Ansu and Logan Scott. Um, you know, we're, we're real excited. You know, it's, it's, we've lost our, our quarterback, Brett Hunchak, um, but Noah's been here for two years, um, you know, and has spent a lot of time with Coach Dennison. He's very athletic, and, and we're excited to see what this offense is going to do. I've been very fortunate, very fortunate and blessed um, to coach some of the best defenses in the country at my old school. And uh, what Coach Ockpro has done with this unit is, both in recruiting and in system, I'm excited. I'm excited for the 2021 season. Uh, I think 2019 left the mark. Um, you know, I, I, um, what they did in the 2019 season was impressive, and we've only got better from a personnel standpoint on this defense. We've gotten faster, um, and it's I'm <laughs> I'm excited to see what they do. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Uh, I've told them. I've told them how good they are. Um, they also know how good they are. Um, they just, they got to show it. You know, D-line's um, led by, by some veterans. Uh, Quadwo Bowen uh, at defensive tackle is, uh, he has been unblockable all camp. Um, we felt he was unblockable in 2019. And, uh, you know, he's, he's he, I don't know how, um, but he's grown. He's taller than when he left. <laughs> which is absolutely insane. He's bigger, stronger, faster, and he's playing with a confidence like I've never seen before. The rest of the defensive line is very veteran uh, as well. Um, you know, we have a returning starter in Nate Brennan, who's our, our nose guard, um, and we have uh, Kevin Musai returning to his, to his rush end spot, who is a very talented pass rusher. We believe he was going to, he was leading the OUA in sacks in 2019 before his injury. And on the back end, we have our, our top uh, 2020 recruit, um, on the defensive line, which was uh, Jason Javier Messier, who's a CJEP AAA um, champion from uh, Champlain Lennoxville, who has just been a leader on this football team from the second he walked into campus. We were very fortunate. He, he came to school in January of 2020, so we did have a full semester with him being here, um, and he is just an amazing kid. What's even better than him being an amazing kid is just he is an insane football player, and uh, he's He's added some depth to an already talented defensive line. Um, you know, we got our, our triple D behind him. Um, we call him our triple D linebackers um, in, in Matt Deans, Dawson Davis, and Desi Dixon that are um, veteran. They are all veteran. Um, they're all CFL caliber athletes. Um, and again, they've just been dominating. Um, it, it's like they've played together their whole life, and they are all lightning fast. Um, so we're we're excited. We're excited to see that transition into the game uh, of play. In the back end, again, loaded with some uh, with, with some talent, some real seniors. Uh, Daniel Amoka, uh, our boundary corner, um, who's played a lot for us but has really, really stepped up into a leadership role. Um, his play has just been electric in, in, uh, in training camp. Um, Talik Iuman, who is our boundary half, they're, they're like brothers back there, and they, they've, they've got it pretty much on lockdown. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's a good group. Um, we have some key uh, young first-year players that are really, really pushing. Uh, Mac Bannentine out of Calgary is making it really difficult for us not to play him. Um, and we have a young young free safety from BC, Ricky Parsons, um, who is a high school all-star in, in BC, um, who's doing the same thing. Uh, they both are, you know, without saying it, they're walking into my office every day saying, Coach, I belong here. And I think this team can accomplish great things. Um, there's a lot of, in all honesty, um, a lot of it's going to come down to which school manages COVID the best. That's going to be some some big implications. You know, once we once the games are kicked off, then it's you know then it's uh, 
you know, then it's going to come down to the fun part of players and coaches coaching. Um, but managing COVID is going to be a very, very interesting thing. I'm um, very interested to see what interest, injuries look like across the league. You know, not playing in two years, not, have, not being able to have spring camp, looking to see what the impact of that is. Um, but aside from this, this, this is a talented football team. We've put some pretty high expectations on this squad. Um, you know, the, the, the OUA is broken down into two conferences right now. Um, you know, we're, we are striving for, we're not striving for, um, one of our main, not one of our main, our main team goal is to host a home playoff game. That's, what, that's our expectation of this football team. Uh, and I believe we have a squad that can do it.